Hello everyone and welcome to this new video where we're going to talk about the game animation sample. It's all over the internet, as most of you guys know. Caleb Longmire, the creator of Advanced Locomotion System, is now working with Epic and has released a new locomotion project which is using motion matching and it's pretty cool and everyone is talking about it so I wanted to talk about it a little bit as well and show you guys what I've been doing with it these last two weekends. So uh, before we start like Caleb Longmire uh, is the creator of Advanced Locomotion System. For those who don't know Advanced Locomotion System it's basically the most advanced locomotion system in Unreal and it was a bit too complicated for most people to get in because it, it had a lot of features. Caleb definitely went for uh, quality over simplicity for this project. He really wanted to make everything perfect and it ended up being a bit too complicated but uh, a lot of projects have used it and it's really really awesome. And one of the big um, advantages of advanced locomotion system is the layering system. So it basically allows you to layer poses on top of the locomotion uh, which for people that are not uh, animators like me it is really cool to be able to just do this with, with poses. And for example, the Lyra project, which uh, did not have a layering system, it had like an entire animation set for each weapon. And if you are working on solo projects or small teams and you don't have a lot of animators, it's gonna be pretty complicated to make all those animations for each weapon. So uh, the issue with the game animation sample is that it released without a layering system. So, or without any system to have to equip weapons or to equip items. and that's what I've been trying to do this uh, this last two weekends. So I've been extracting the layering system from uh, ALS and basically plugging it on top of the, uh, uh, the game animation sample. It is working pretty well. There are some issues, but it's overall I managed to um, extract most of it and like plug it in here. Uh, I also uh, plugged the uh, work in progress crouch animations that came with the sample. Caleb showed how to do that in the stream with the other Epic developers. And everything is working pretty fine, like with aim offsets and everything. And it's looking like we will be able to completely plug the, um, the layering system from ALS on top of this. I basically see the game animation sample as ALS V5. So for those who've been following ALS, there's been four versions, the first, second, third, and the fourth one is the one that had the, the layering system. So basically, this is going to turn into ALS V5 with the community and probably Caleb's update as well. Uh, they mentioned in the live stream that they, uh, they have some pretty cool layering uh, features that they are trying to productize and put into the, uh, the engine. Um, those features are for now probably still internal to Epic. So while we wait for those, I will be working on extracting the entire ALS layering system and plugging it into the game animation sample. And I will make this available to all of you guys. So if you are interested, uh, don't forget to subscribe. I will put all of this into, uh, into a GitHub project so that you guys can be able to um, use the game animation sample in your projects and have weapons and have items similar to how we were using advanced locomotion system before. So um, the way I'm doing this is I basically put everything inside a um, linked layer. So I have this linked layer, which basically I extracted the layering system from ALS and I'm basically doing the blending the same way ALS was doing it. And the only thing that is added to the um, game animation sample project is this uh, node in here. So I'm trying to do this in a non-destructive way to the game uh, animation sample. I'm trying to change as least uh, things as possible so that we can easily port this to the new updates of the, um, the game animation sample when they finish working on crouch and sprint and they, if they add some, some other features, I want to keep those. So I'm trying to put everything in a good modular way so that we can use that. Uh, the system also still uses the, uh, the, uh, the curves. So basically in each pose, we have the curves that define how much we want to blend the arms, the legs and all of these. So this was something really, really good in ALS. I really liked it. So I wanted to keep it. Um, I did some changes. So basically now there isn't a single animation with all the poses. This is, this is the animation that came with ALS. I split that into different poses just because I prefer to work with single poses rather than um, 
one single animation with a, a bunch of keys in uh, in the curves. Uh, I also, like I said, made this a an anim layer uh, with an anim layer interface. So uh, we have the base layer, which is in here, which does the blending. And then we have the child classes where we define all these poses. So basically, we just can create different um, child classes of that uh, linked layer. So this is the one for the pistol one hand. We can define all the poses here. And then when we link it to the character, so for now, I'm just linking it straight uh, on the begin play, but this is supposed to be done, for example, by your inventory system where you equip a different item and then you link the layer that is um, uh, that corresponds to that item, and then it will automatically update this. Uh, also in, in ALS, like the, um, the overlay poses were all in here. So we had like weapon one hand, weapon two hands, uh, rifle, everything. I made these variables, so now we have these states, relaxed, ready, and aiming, and then depending on the link layer that you will um, link, it will have its own poses. So this way, uh, we don't have everything uh, hardly referenced in, in here. So I am still working on this. I am going to port most of the layers from ALS. So uh, all, the, um, all these layers that you can see here, most of them, not all of them, but I, I at least want to post the um, port the weapons, uh, the bow, the torch, these kind of things that could be interesting to see because some of them are using the left hand, some of, some of them are using two hands with IK, so I need to work the IK in. Um, I will work on these, I will try to clean up everything. There are some also some interesting things, so for example here, uh, you can see that the legs, once you release, they will do like a kind of nice transition, so they don't just blend in, they, they kind of move. That's in ALS called the dynamic transition. I want to port that as well. Um, then plug some good IK for the hands and for the feet and basically we'll have ALS V5. So I will still work on that, uh, mostly on my free time in the weekends and I will be putting all of that stuff uh, up on the internet for you guys to play with. So uh, like I said, if it's not yet the case, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you stay tuned and you get it when it's done. And please, uh, if you liked the, the video, like it. It helps a lot. And see you guys in the next video.